Now we are in the month of love and it's all about the heart. Not only the romantic part of the heart, but also the healthy side because we're trying to keep it healthy. So our theme is heart healthy foods. And the Brad Pitt of the culinary world that I was talking about, Jonathan Molden. How are you, Jonathan? Uh, very well yourself. Very well. Do I put pressure on you when I say yes, that? Yes, you do. Oh, no, you shouldn't feel <laughs> pressurized. Well, this morning we're making a very interesting recipe. Please yes. share it with us. Yes, so we are talking all about the heart. As you said, not the romantic heart, but the healthy side of the yeah. heart. So, one of my favorite dishes and one of the favorite foods to use, which is really, really healthy, is salmon. Oh, yeah. High in omega fatty acids, nice. really, really healthy for the heart. Um, we've got a little potato, almost like mm -hmm. a potato salad, but we've mixed things up a bit. Okay. Also, just to add a little bit of creme fraiche, taking out the mayonnaise, yes. taking out the oil. So, we're using creme fraiche, some really nice fresh ingredients like some lemon, mm -hmm. some spring onions, a little bit of lemon zest. And then to accompany that, we've got some a cucumber salad. So nice. cucumber salad also nice and healthy. We're using simply a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar and some sugar to marinate it, almost like pickles. So nice. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's do it. Okay. okay. So we've got a nice hot pan here. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there and Alrighty. just get that, bring that to a heat. Okay. And we've got our bit of salmon here, which is just a small little pavé of salmon. It's got its skin on over oh, there. Nice. Uh, we're just going to season it, of course. This is yep. about a tablespoon of olive oil that yeah, you've got you in Yeah, you don't want to add too yeah. much either because also this salmon has quite a bit of healthy fat in it as right. well. So yeah, yeah. it will release quite a bit. So we're just going to pop that into the pan. Skin side down. Skin side down. You can hear it. Look how immediately it just compresses. I know, the skin <laughs> contracts, oh, God, doesn't it? There. Careful, careful. Salmon's right. not loving me this morning. So that's cool. So we're just going to make sure that that's still in the hot pan um, and we're going to move over to. Our potatoes. You know what's always interesting to me is how long does one actually cook salmon for? It's actually not a long time at all really? because you don't want to cook it all the way through. Yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. of those fish that you want to just cook almost what we call just uh, like an on a medium basically. Okay. All right. So you've got baby potatoes. We've got baby there. potatoes which have been pre prepared before. So you can actually do all this before. It's quite a nice dish to to have somebody around. You can prepare this before, and the last thing you need to do is just basically the salmon. Okay. Cool. So that's the skin's basically probably crisped up quite nicely nice. now, and we're just going to turn it over yeah, a little bit more, probably like another right. another thirty seconds or so. So we've got our creme fraiche, mm -hmm. which we've mixed around there, and we're going to add a little bit of mustard to give it a bit of a zing. Lovely. Dijon mustard. We've got a lemon zest. Mm. Going to add a nice little. Yep, freshness to it, and fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice and a little bit of spring onions. Lovely. Lovely. Ooh, very, very gorgeous. simple. Okay, mix that around. Yeah. Put that to one side. Uh, you can actually crush the potatoes a little bit as well, mm. which kind of like... Gives it like a mashy effect too. Yeah, nice. why not? We'll pop that over there for the meantime. So that salmon's probably done quite nicely on the oh, side. Awesome. There we are, so we just turn that around. Okay. Then what we do now is we, we're talking about our salad. Yes. Really, really simple. We've got some cucumber, which has been ribboned. Oh, lovely. Just get I a like peeler. A like that. Yeah. yeah, pull it down, basically. Get some nice long ribbons. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to make our dressing. Mm. We, we're going away from the oil today, all right? Yes, Almost please. like a little bit of pickling. So we've got some sugar. Healthy. Okay. A little bit of sugar, maybe basically one, like, one teaspoon. And a little bit of white wine vinegar. If you want to go a little bit Asian, you can use a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Oh, nice. All right. So you can yeah. use a variety of things. Exactly. Really. Mix it up. And we'll put our cucumber into there, toss that around, start the pickle. You can leave that for about 10 minutes if you want. Okay. So the sugar's going to balance out the, uh, the acidity there as well. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And then we've got our red onions. Onions. Also turn that around there. Yeah. Get all that stuff around. And let's add a little bit of radish. Nice. Thinly sliced, it gives a little bit of colour. I like this. Yeah. And some sesame seeds. Oh, awesome. Simple, really, really simple. So that, as I said, just marinades and it yeah. kind of it pickles it. Gives it a nice sweet and kind of piquant almost. Delicious. Now I there see that are. our salmon is nicely seared. So yes. we're going to take a quick look. But before we do that, if you would like to make this recipe this morning, all you have to do is SMS us the word FISH to 33728. We'll send you your shopping list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making this very delicious recipe yourself. But if you want to take one more look at how we made it, well, here you go. Toss potatoes with creme fraiche and mustard. Stir in the lemon zest and juice, spring onions and seasoning. Combine vinegar and sugar, then add cucumber ribbons and red onion. Pan-fried trout in olive oil on both sides. 
Serve fish on top of the potatoes and cucumber, then garnish with herbs. That keyword once again is fish. SMS it to 33728 and we'll send you your shopping list and the recipe and you could be making the seared salmon with lemon creme fresh, baby potatoes and pickled cucumber. Chef Jonathan Molden is busy plating it right now. It looks absolutely divine. The salmon on top of the potatoes with that beautiful fresh cucumber salad right there on the go. top. And that, sir, is why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> little sprinkling of sesame seeds. How's that? Beautiful. Lovely. It is a thing of beauty. Isn't it lovely? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Keyword once again, tuna to 33728. Jonathan, I mean, fish. <laughs> I apologize. Too much fish in my head. Do Jonathan, thank you so much Not for being with all. us this morning. Absolutely. You've got plans for Valentine's Day? Uh, plans with a whole lot, bunch of friends. You know, you got to keep it uh, keep it open. I like the group thing. The yes. group thing's very, very nice. Well, exactly. while Jonathan does that, I hope that you maybe think of making this delicious recipe on Valentine's Day and that it's going to be a phenomenal day for you. Let's take a quick ad break because I want to get into some of that.